This short lecture is intended to provide a quick introduction to letter writing in antiquity and the nature of Paul's letters. In antiquity, uh, there, there was a, a widespread practice of, of writing letters, and there were a variety of letter writings um, and forms of letters. And so there are letters that, that scholars would classify as literary letters. And these are letters that are exchanged among philosophers, poets, and statesmen. Um, in comparison to these would be what are known as non-literary letters. Uh, these would be things like business agreements and uh, letters handling personal affairs, like um, you know the state of a family or announcing that somebody had been born or somebody had died. Um, and so uh, the writings, the letters of Paul, are, are probably somewhere in between these non-literary and these literary letters. In addition, uh, ancient uh, writers about letters, right, theorists about writing letters, uh, noted that there were different types of letters. So there would be a letter of friendship or a letter of exhortation, encouragement, or even a didactic or instructive letter. And what was important is that forms of the letter sort of were intended to do certain things based on the type of letter. And in antiquity, generally speaking, it was, it was presumed that, that a letter was delivering the sort of presence of the writer, even if the writer couldn't be present. A few things about Paul's letters specifically um, to keep in mind. First, they were written 20 to 30 years after his encounter with Christ. The other thing uh, to keep in mind is that the 13 letters attributed to Paul are quite diverse. And this diversity includes things like the occasion or purpose of writing, the recipient or recipients that are addressed in the letter, the content, the sorts of things that are covered in the letter, and so forth. Some of the things that hold the letters together, though, um, are, are that they were all occasional, right? They weren't general letters, that they were responding to a particular situation or preparing, at least in the case of Romans, maybe for a future situation. They were all, for the most part, carefully composed. Um, they, they aren't sort of just chicken scratch um, or, or text messages or tweets. They were, they were thought out. And uh, for some of the longer letters of Paul, they might have been written over a, a longer period of time, months uh, even, perhaps. Um, and they were meant to be read aloud. Um, and exchanged in many cases. And so uh, we, 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 we see that this idea of reading, making sure that this letter is read and then passed on. Um, and then finally, the last thing to notice is that there's no mention of letter writing in the book of Acts, at least not Paul writing to communities. And this is one of those significant differences between Acts and the letters of Paul. This concludes our basic introduction to letter writing in antiquity in Paul's letters. Thank you for your time.